don't compare yourself with anyone in life. If you do so, you will be the saddest person in the world. There was a story of an unhappy crow that I want to share with you. I hope this story is going to change your life. So there was a crow. The problem with him was that he was black. He was really sad and unhappy in life because of his color. So he was crying. Suddenly a monk has seen that the crow was crying. So the monk asked the crow, "Why are you crying?" The crow said, "What to do if not cry? Is it really a life that I'm living? Is it really a color, the black?" No one likes black. No one likes me. No one likes to have a crow as a pet. Did you see anyone to have a crow as a pet? No one gives me food. I spend most of my time in the garbage. So the god made me a crow. So I hate my life. The monk said, "What do you want to become if you get another chance? I will make you that thing. I will fulfill your wish." The crow said, "If I get another chance, so I would like to be a swan, a white swan. What a beautiful color, white, the symbol of peace. Okay, I will make you the swan." The monk said. But before that, I want you to meet the swan once. So the crow goes and meet the swan and say to the swan, "Wow, brother, what a color the gods gave you. You look amazing. You must be happy in life." Look how amazing you are! How happy you are! The swan said, "Who said you that I am happy?" The crow said, "Are you not? Not at all." The swan said, "What's bothering you? Is it really a color? The white, disgusting. No one likes white. White basically used on the coffin. So you are not happy." The crow said, "Not at all." The swan said. Now two of them came back to the monk, and the swan said, "Give me one chance." The monk said, "What do you want to become?" Swan said, "Make me a parrot. What a leaf! What a color combination! Green and red. The parrot has. People like to have parrots as a pet. Parrots can also talk. So make me a parrot." The monk said, "I will. But before that, go to the parrot and meet him once." Now the crow and swan went to the jungle and searching for a parrot, but they could not find the parrot. After a lot of searching, they found a parrot. And say to the parrot, "Wow, how amazing you are! What a color! What a leaf! Just amazing!" People pay to you. They give you a name. How happy you are in life! How amazing your life is! Parrot said, "Who said to you that I am happy?" Swan said, "Are you not? Not at all." The parrot said, "What bothering you? My problem is my color. The green. Is it really a beautiful color?" It is as same as the jungle, the leap, the tree. See, you were searching me for a long time, but you could not find me because of my color. So now three of them came back to the monk and said, "Dear monk, give me a chance." The monk said, "What do you want to become?" The parrot said, "The peacock. What an amazing bird! What a feather! What a color! When he dances, people take pictures of him." The monk said, "I will make you." All three of you. But before that, can you please go to the peacock and meet him once? Now all of them run and meet the peacock and said, "Wow, peacock! What an amazing life that God gave you. When you open your feathers, people are staring at you. They take pictures of you. People wait for you to open up your feathers because they like you. They want to see you dancing. How happy you are! How amazing your life is!" And finally, peacock said, "Who you are?" Who told you that I'm happy? Do you have troubles too? The crow said. Peacock said, "It's a lot of troubles there." What trouble do you have? The parrot and crow said. Peacock said, "Listen carefully. There is a sound. Can you hear that?" The parrot said, "Yes." What's that sound? Listen it carefully. Can you hear that? Yes, yes, I can. The crow and parrot said. But what's that? Peacock said, "It's hunter and." Kill the peacock. Every feather will be extracted one by one from his body, and will be sold to all over the world and to the market. And people will buy it, and they will use it to decorate their house. Is it really a life? Why do you want to become peacock? Crow said. So you are not happy. Peacock said. Not at all. The crow said. Then what should we become according to you? Who is the happiest animal in the world? The peacock said to the crow. You. You are the happiest animal in the world. The crow said, "How am I? How can I be happy in the world?" The peacock said to the crow, "Have you heard about the chicken burger? 
Yes, the crow said. Have you heard about the chicken sandwich? Yes, the crow said. But have you heard about the crow burger or crow sandwich? No, the crow said. Did you see anyone to sell a crow's feather or meat? No, the crow said. Do you have any danger? No. Do anyone haunt you? No. Do you have trouble with anyone? No. Does anyone have trouble with you? No. And who is living a great life? Me or you? Who is the happiest bird in the world? It's you, brother. It's you. Because we have no idea are we gonna wake up in the next morning or not. So no matter who you are, where you are, how do you look, what you have, you are great. Never ever compare yourself with anyone in life. There is no one better than you. God has not created another person like you. You are unique. Believe it. What you are doing here, you are impacting in this world. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you really think that this story is inspiring you and makes you happy or then make sure to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your family and friends.